Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this little swoop ponytail. The edges still need to be bumped a little bit more, but the most important part is to show you how to do the part and get the ponytail in and everything. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so my mirror is there, so I'm going to be looking over there. Well, my hair has just been in a white t-shirt. I just bought this at Walmart for $5, specifically for my hair because I can't <laughs> using my sleep shirts. My hair is growing. Oh my god. Okay. So we start off with our wet hair. I like to do wet hair. If you have blow dried hair, even better. But like I said, this is no heat method. I have zero product right now. So I'm just going to start by kind of putting some extra water on because, um, oh my God, I just sprayed my face and I just did my makeup. How did I, what is wrong with me? I don't know what this stuff is. There's some white in my hair. I think I left a bit of conditioner. Oops. So now that I've done this, I add my first product, and that is the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Leave-In. That is my favorite leave-in ever because it just makes my hair very moisturized, smooth, detangles it. And I just, I always put this on before a bun, a ponytail, any type of style. I just put this in, straightening, I put this in whenever my hair is wet, to be honest. So the next thing you want to do, I do my eyebrow, right? I go for my eyebrow, and I pretty much just kind of follow the line here the part is the most important thing that you're gonna need to be perfect in this so i go like this i put it on an angle so that it aligns with my brow see that's good for me we're just gonna ignore all that product in my hair okay clearly i, I just didn't rinse it out properly okay so now that that's done I go ahead and I take this comb again and I part my hair one more time to my ear. As you can see there, okay. And I just kind of like put this in a ponytail for a sec, just like a couple seconds, you know? So this is the hair that we're using to sleep. So I just like to make sure to brush this out with like a Denman brush and this is something that I just kind of twist for a second so that I can start slicking the rest of my hair. So just to kind of get it out of the way because once you start letting all your hair out, you mix it up, you accidentally comb it back. Like Now I take some Eco Styler gel and I put it down here so I can start slicking and the back of my hair and all around the sides. Now, if you didn't watch my slick back tutorial, you can use the same method I did in that. I'm gonna go over it quickly in this video. You take your Denman brush and you start just combing your hair back to keep it as flat as possible, and then you slick it with your brush after. So what I do is I hold my hair in the position I'm going to be tying it, and I start brushing in that direction. You know what I mean? This product is gonna be a problem, oh God. Make sure to get the back. Then you just put a little bit more gel and you slick it. I put it like top of my head towards the middle. Not super high, but not super, super low, of course. Whew. Okay, so now that that's slicked, we're gonna make sure that this hair is actually brushed down. Um, it's just kind of easier to do once it's up for some reason, because you're just kind of changing the direction of it and brushing it back. I don't know if you know what I mean, but hopefully you can see what I'm saying. And now, and now we kind of swoop this down and gel it. The products are not mixing well right now, so it is looking a little bit white, but that does come off like when it dries. And you might need to kind of reapply some foundation after if you get too much product on there. 
but you slick it down and you bobby pin it. Now you're gonna take this ponytail and put it into the smallest little bun possible. Trust the process, guys, trust the process. Trust the process. So I'm actually gonna go in with this. This is Shine and Jam. I just put my brush right into it. I like to take a clip like this and just place it over here and then continue bobby pinning it. And I just bobby pin it behind my head. <laughs> like, kind of like, you're gonna cover it with the ponytail so it doesn't really matter, you won't see it. Then I go back here with that same hold jam and I just continue slicking it so it stays straight and doesn't start like waving. Then I do my edges, edge tutorial if you want one. Let me know, I'll post one. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take our ponytail, comb it out, and pop it in. Make sure it's one that can handle like a little bit of heat because we gotta bump the edges up a bit. I just wrap this around and then I secure it with the bobby pin, of course. So now we're just gonna flip it up. I would say a safe heat is like 340. I divide it in half to make sure like I flip both sides in the right direction so it kind of all flows so it's not all like flipped in one direction. Do you know what I mean? So make sure it's combed out at the end. All that heats up, I'm just gonna put my earrings on because my friend just texted me saying leaving now and I'm clearly busy. <laughs> so I should probably hurry up. I still have to change and then put my red lipstick on and then I'm ready to go. So she's like 25 minutes away, I should be okay. Okay, it's pretty hot. So you literally just bump it up like this. It's a little hard on like fake hair because it just kind of like, it gets a little stiff. But just play around with it until you got the desired look. So do little smaller sections. I could divide the ponytail in four if you got a ponytail similar to mine. But make sure you go in the opposite direction on the other side so that you have like a symmetrical look. Do you know what I mean? All right guys, so that concludes my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's super, super easy as you can see. I'm still gonna bump the edges up a little more, but because I'm in a hurry, I can't do it on camera, but it's the same idea other than me just doing it a little more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.